You heard the expert. We stop. Hermano, ¿cómo estás? Te tengo una pregunta muy importante. Say, I was trying to complain about it and, and bitching. This stuff is amazing. The meat dealer. Good trip. Mm. Welcome back to another episode. This is Emilio, your meat dealer. Today we have something special. I was planning to smoke a pork brisket. I went to the store and bought it. However, I didn't realize that next to the pork brisket, there was something called similar, which is pork brisket bones. And I picked the wrong package. So Gabriel is here, we gotta do something. And you know what, I was a little bit upset. I was trying to complain about it and, and bitching. And I was like, you know what? If life throws you lemon, you gotta make lemonade. You gotta learn how to make lemonade. So I'm gonna do something with this. So when I opened this package, I noticed it does have bones. Uh, it looks like it's a little trimming from the brisket. This specific, this specific piece of meat comes with the pork skirt steak attached. So we're gonna do some pork skirt steak tacos. This is how this product looks like. So, so now we're gonna take advantage of this, make some uh, marinated pork tacos. So the rest of the product looks, you know, like we, we can make something out of it. So I'm gonna make uh, my version of carnitas, uh, an improvised carnitas. So hopefully this is gonna come out nice. So as you can see, this is the skirt steak, it's still attached. So just, we're just gonna make a small cut over here to separate it. So we're gonna make marinated pork, with this curse steak and these pieces, we're gonna make carnitas out of it. So now we're gonna marinate our pork. Let's put the pork over here in a mixing bowl, add some orange juice, garlic paste, ginger paste, extra virgin olive oil, and our secret, Sazon del Norte, which is like a seasoning of the North. This is a Mexican spice blend. It's garlic, onion, oregano, cumin, uh, black pepper, and salt. So. I totally recommend it if you can get this. This is completely meat dealer approved. Okay, mix all together. And now we're gonna let it rest for at least 30 minutes. Now we're gonna make our carnitas. Man, I feel weird saying that. Carnitas, carnitas. Okay, let's do it now. All right, let me see this. Okay, I'm just gonna chop it up a little bit. Start putting it in the Instant Pot. I mean, this is just too much fat, so we don't need all this fat. Same thing. We're gonna use the Rob del Norte. Okay. We're gonna put some orange juice. When you try to make carnitas, every video and everyone that I see doing cooking carnitas, they put the orange peel or the leftover of the orange in the pot to cook together. So we're doing the same thing. We're gonna add a little bit of bone broth so we can add a little bit more richness to the flavor that we're trying to develop here. I'm gonna put a little bit of my touch. I like ginger, so we should put ginger paste. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic and you gotta put Coke. I don't have regular, so I'm gonna use diet. And this is gonna be the secret ingredient right here. This is a smoke soul, but I never seen something like this. It's very intense, very strong. Uh, I gotta give a shout out to uh, Sociedad Mexicana de Parrilleros, which is like the Mexican uh, association of uh, grillers. This is very intense, so I'm just gonna put a little bit like this. You can see those black chunks in the sole. Smell of smoke that this has just as it is. It's super intense and it's very strong. I had it in different uh, soup or dishes that I'm trying to develop, you know, usually for me, for my family. And these people will think that it was cooked uh, in hardwood, you know, cooked on hardwood outdoors. So. I love it and totally recommend it. And this is gonna add a little bit of smoky flavor to our carnitas or my version of carnitas. We're gonna hard pressure cook this for around 20 minutes because I want this super tender falling, falling off the bone. And then we're gonna chop it up, 
make some tacos and enjoy. 20 minutes later. Our carnitas are ready. Let's see what happens. accomplish our goal. So now I'm gonna get the meat out. This is so tender. Look, it's hard to pick them up from the Instapot. But they fall apart. The first goal is achieved. Okay, let's remove all the extra ingredients that we have in the stock. We're gonna try to shred the meat and then put it back in the juice. Now, I'm not sure if this is more carnitas or barbacoa. Mm, I gotta call Oscar and find out. <laughs> Hermano. Hermano, ¿cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú? Bien, bien. Mira, te tengo una pregunta muy importante. Está, estamos aquí haciendo un video y creo que metí las patas. En, ¿Qué pasó? Pues, Estoy cocinando un cerdo y, y dije carnitas, pero después en el proceso, cuando ya terminé de cocinar lo que estaba haciendo, dije, ya va, esto no parece carnita, esto tiene más pinta de barbacoa. Lo puse en la olla de presión, mira, ahí está, eh, lo estoy desmechando. Las, eh, las carnitas es, es este, son fritas, pero no, no yeah. deep fry, sino co como un confit en, en grasa de cerdo. Y, y, no, no sería tanto carnita eso. ¿Y esto que dice olla presión, qué sería más? Pues un estofado, algo así. O sea, sí puede pasar como barbacoa. No sé qué le pusiste, no sé qué receta está usando, pero definitivamente sí está más cercano a la barbacoa que a las carnitas. Ok, perfecto. Ahora tengo que corregir. Gracias, hermano, por ayudarnos. Bueno, no hay que, no hay que, buen provecho en tacos, ¿no? Sí, obvio, bo, y con doble, ¿no? Bueno. Dale. Saludos, pues, hermano. Pura vida. Pura vida, chao. All right, you heard the expert. We stop. This is more like a barbacoa or estofado. So change everything. This is now a barbacoa. I'm sorry. <laughs> so let's chop some meat. Okay, let's get some of this meat off the bone. It's super hot. Okay. Let's chop some of this meat. Now, if you, if you notice your meat is drying a little bit, take some of that stock and put it right on top. Keep your meat moist. I'm gonna put our meat in this container. We're gonna add more stock. So we're gonna build our first taco. Got some quesadilla cheese. I would like to make something that, um, we call uh, costra de queso, so which is like a cheese crust. Uh, and then it's, we're gonna put it together with our taco. It's gonna give it more flavor and a little bit more crunchiness. Okay, and this is good enough. Now the goal here is to make the one side golden brown and the other side, same thing. So it's gonna be very crispy and it's gonna add more bite to the taco. I'm gonna need our knife. Our cheese costras are ready. Let's put one here, the other one here. We take our tortillas and we're gonna warm it up, kinda of like fry them in the remaining oil. In an ideal world, my taco should have onion, cilantro, and squeeze some lime juice. However, like I said at the beginning, if life throws you lemon, you have to make lemonade out of it, right? I don't have no lemon, I have no cilantro, only onion, so sorry. You see our tortillas, how they're doing? Our tortillas are right where I want it. 
a good taco always have to be built with two tortillas. Our cheese costra, I cut it in a half because it's kind of big. Take some of our meat. All right, get a little bit of avocado. Put some onions. I have no lime juice, so I'm gonna put some habanero mango sauce. So we give it a little bit of sweet flavor. And our taco is complete. Salud, amigos. Mm. It's a really good taco. Flavorful, different. Not the same stuff that you'll find in, a, you know, one of these Tex-Mex restaurants. Very proud of this taco. My brother Oscar, salute to you, my friend. Mmm. It's good. You want to try? It's good. <laughs> now, my favorite part. You gotta take. You gotta pick up the two. That's the rule. The rule, yeah. And the tongue, and the pinky out. Mm-hmm. A lot of people say that I look like a Mexican. So... Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's true because I heard people speaking to him in Spanish right away up front. <laughs> Bro, it's juicy. It's like you should be, you should grab it from the top. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yes, exactly. No problem. Yeah, the meat is juicy. Very good. I had some tacos in LA. Mm -hmm. This is better. Fresh made, and we improvise all the ingredients. <laughs> From the beginning till the end, all improvised. And we still got one more taco to build. Well, this stuff is amazing either way. <laughs> you know, so again, straight from the source, the meat dealer. <laughs> Good shit. Good one. All right. Now, we're gonna go outside, grill our pork churrascos, and build another taco. See how that goes. We're gonna heat up our tortillas. Let's make our tacos now. First, we're gonna cut this piece in three portions, and then we're gonna cut against the grain. Thin slices. Same recipe than before. Tortillas, two tortillas. Original and copy. Our cheese crust, we're gonna put it right in the middle. We're gonna put some meat. Let's put some avocado. This is a pineapple serrano sauce. I'm gonna put some of this. All right. My pork churrasco tacos are ready. This is the moment of truth. It is a great taco. The pork churrasco, not the most tender piece of meat that I ever had in a, in a taco, but it's very flavorful. The ingredients definitely, I think there's a good mix. Sometimes improvising is good, and you know what? The most important, we had a good time and we're enjoying every bite or every recipe we have developed with this unexpected change in the course of today's episode. Again, let me try the... Just the meat, yeah. Mm. This is good. Still juicy. Yeah, it has um, a nice smoky flavor mm -hmm. because of the grill, the pinky. Mm. Very good, mm -hmm. my friend. I think uh, mission accomplished. Right. We did what we have to do with what we <laughs> with the product we got. <laughs> right. Like you said in the beginning, when life gives you lemon, we learn how to make lemonade. But we don't have. We have no lime. Sorry. <laughs> Good. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, friends, thank you very much for watching another episode. We appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe. Recommend it to your friends. Write some comments. We're going to keep making more interesting uh, content. We'll see you on the next one.
Tchau. Tchau.